In this video, we're going to work out a few different kite problems. They're going to use different math techniques. We see in this first problem, they're asking us to use right triangle trigonometry. So that means we should identify some triangles that we're going to work with. Notice here we have a triangle ABX. If we draw ABX, that is to simplify what we're looking at. Instead of looking at the whole kite, our focus is on just the one triangle. And notice we have a 19 degree angle here and we have a 15 foot side. So if they want us to solve for AB, that's this side here, and from the point of view of the angle, the 19 degree angle, this side is adjacent, and we're solving for the hypotenuse. And we say, well, let's look at Sokotoa. Which of these uses adjacent, which is A, and hypotenuse H? We see adjacent and hypotenuse are affiliated with the cosine function. So we're gonna write our equation, cosine, the angle is 19 degrees, equals adjacent, which is 15 feet, over hypotenuse, which is side AB. Now the strategy we learned was to write this as a proportion and cross multiply. So we have AB times cosine of 19 degrees. That's when we do this cross multiplication. And then 15 times 1, so equals 15 times 1 is 15. And now we would like to get AB by itself. So we need to get this cosine of 19 degrees away from it. So we're going to divide both sides by cosine of 19 degrees. We see that it cancels here. And we're left with AB equals 15 divided by cosine of 19 degrees. So we'll get our calculators out and we'll type 15 divided by cosine of 19 degrees and that tells us 15.86. So we'll round to the tenths, 15.9. So we have AB and because this is a kite, we know that AB is congruent to BC. So they're both going to be 15.9, and that's going to help us when we have to find the perimeter. Now they want us to find CD. Notice that CD is over here, and we want to take the triangle out that uses CD. So we have X, C, and D. We see that that is a 52-degree angle. And since AX is 15, XC is also 15, because that is the diagonal of the kite, that is bisected by the other diagonal. And we mark the angle that we're given, the 52 degrees, and we see that this is adjacent, and we're solving for CD, which is hypotenuse. So once again, we're using cosine. So this time it's cosine of 52 degrees is equal to adjacent, which is 15, over hypotenuse, which is CD. We'll write it as a proportion and cross multiply. You should find that you get CD is equal to 15 divided by cosine of 52. So we'll plug that into our calculator. And we get that CD is 24.4. So now we can take the perimeter, which is 15.9 plus 15.9 plus 24.4 plus 24.4, and we get 80.6. So that's the first problem. We used right triangle trigonometry to find the sides. We had to draw out separate triangles, and then we used the properties of kites saying that the consecutive sides are congruent, and then we were able to find the perimeter. So here's problem two. Problem two is asking that we use the Pythagorean theorem to solve. And we see that we have XE is 24, XI, so this segment here is X minus 6, KX, which is this segment here, is X minus 8, and KE is X plus 10. So
So we're asked to use Pythagorean theorem. We need to know three sides of a triangle. I don't have anything for Ki, but I do have these three sides of a triangle here. So that's what we're going to focus on. So from K to X to E, we understand that the diagonals are perpendicular, so that makes this a right triangle. We have X plus 10 on the hypotenuse. We have X minus 8 on one of the legs and 24 on the other leg. So the Pythagorean theorem says take the square of the legs and add them. So we have X minus 8 in parentheses squared plus 24 squared. And that will equal x plus 10, which is the hypotenuse, in parentheses squared. Now we have to multiply x minus 8 squared. You would write that two times. And now you would multiply it out. x times x is x squared. x times minus 8 is minus 8x. And then I would take this minus 8 and multiply it by x. So I get another minus 8x. And I would take the minus 8 and multiply it by minus 8, which is a positive 64. We can combine these two minus 8s to be a negative 16x. So that means that this x minus 8 squared now becomes x squared minus 16x plus 64. Now we're going to add to that 24 squared. 24 Let's square it, enter, it's 576. And this will be equal to x plus 10 in parentheses squared. We write it twice, and we use distributive property to multiply it out. x times x gives us x squared. x times 10 is plus 10x. We have a 10 times x again, so that's another plus 10x. And then we have a 10 times 10, which is a plus 100. We see that the two 10x's combine to be 20x. So we can replace this x plus 10 squared with x squared plus 20x plus 100. So now we can combine like terms. If I subtract x squared from both sides, they're going to cancel. And I'll bring the negative 16x to the other side by adding 16x to both sides. And we see that 64 plus 576 can be combined. 64 plus 576 gives us 640. So now we have 640 is the only thing left on this left hand side equals this plus 16x and 20x gives us 36x and then we have plus 100. So now we're going to say well let's subtract the 100 from both sides. We have 540 equals 36x. Let's divide both sides by 36. So we're left with x equals 540 divided by 36, and that gives us 15. So we have x equals 15. So we can go back to our triangle and say, well, if x is 15, that means that kx is 15 minus 8. So I can say that this is now 7. And ke is 15 plus 10. I can say this is 25. So now I know that KE is 25, which means that TE is 25. Now we have to solve for KI, and this is another triangle we can work with. I can use the fact that KX is 7. And we see that xi is x minus 6, but we said x is 15, so 15 minus 6 is 9. So we have 7 and 9, and we want to solve for ki. So 7 squared plus 9 squared equals ki squared. 
that's 49 plus 81 equals ki squared. And that is 130 equals ki squared. We'll take the square root of 130. And it gives us 11.4. So then our perimeter is 11.4 plus 11.4 plus 25 plus 25 and gives us 72.8. So there we finished an application problem using Pythagorean theorem. We had to find two separate triangles to solve. One of them we solved algebraically with um, expressions for the sides. The other we solved numerically because we had numbers for the sides. So here's another one with right triangle trigonometry. Pause the video here, try to solve it on your own, and then unpause to see if you've done it right or if you need some guidance along the way. So I see they want us to solve for kx. That is this segment right here. And I see that I have a side of the triangle and I have an angle. So I'm going to focus on this triangle. kx is adjacent to 62 degrees and 16 is opposite. And I would say, well, opposite and adjacent is going to be tangent if we look at Sokotoa. Here we have opposite and adjacent, the O and the A. So we're going to write tangent of 62 degrees equals opposite, which is 16, over adjacent, which is Kx. And then our strategy is to write it as a proportion and cross multiply. We get Kx is equal to 16 divided by tangent of 62. We can plug this into our calculator. 16 divided by tangent of 62 is 8.5. So kx is 8.5. And I'm just rounding everything to the nearest tenths. Next, we're asked to solve for ki. So now that I found that kx is 8.5, I can use that to help me solve for ki. I'm going to draw my triangle here. Here's K. Here's I. My right angle, and here's X. We just solve that KX is 8.5, and the drawing shows us that XI is 9. So we can say that 8.5 squared plus 9 squared equals KI squared. So 8.5 squared plus 9 squared is 153.25. And that's equal to ki squared. So if I take the square root of 153.25, that will give me ki. Which is 12.4. And now we're ready to solve for TE. We see TE is this side of the kite. And I would use um, this triangle in the lower right-hand side. Since KX is 8.5, XT is also going to be 8.5. And we see we can solve this right triangle. And we can solve for TE. 8.5 squared plus 16 squared equals TE squared. So 8.5 squared plus 16 squared gives us 328.25. We're going to take the square root of that number. And this will give us 18.1 as our answer for TE.
And now we can find the perimeter, which will be 12.4 plus 18.1 plus 12.4 plus 18.1. And the perimeter is 61. And this last problem uses properties of kites to solve for the angles in the drawing. And we see that QXW, QXW is talking about this angle right here. We start at Q, we go up to X, and we get to W. We use the middle letter to identify the angle. That angle is... 13 minus 7x. Then we have qxy. From q to x to y would be identifying this angle right here. So I'll color that in. qxy is 1 minus 10x. And from our properties of kites, we understand that these two angles are equal. So we can write our equation as 13 minus 7x is equal to 1 minus 10x. If I add 10x to both sides, that gives me 13 plus 3x equals 1. And then I'll subtract 13 from both sides. And that gives us 3x equals negative 12, where x is equal to negative 4. And if we plug negative 4 in for x, we get 13 minus 7 times negative 4. The double negative means that we're going to get a positive. So it's 13 plus 28, which is 41 degrees. So our answer for x is negative 4. And our answer for qxw is 41 degrees. Now to solve for the next variable w, we see 7w plus 5 goes in place of qyz. qyz is this angle here I'm coloring in. And then yzq is this angle down here that I'm coloring in. And because this angle at the, where the two diagonals meet is 90, that means that these two angles must also add up to 90 since there's 180 degrees in a triangle. So now we know that 7w plus 5 plus 9w minus 11 equal 90 degrees. We can combine like terms. 7w and 9w is 16w. And then the 5 and the minus 11 is minus 6 equals 90. We will add 6 to both sides. The 6 is cancel. We're left with 16w equals 96. 96 divided by 16 gives us that w is equal to 6. Now they're asking for yzq. If we plug 6 into here, 9 times 6 minus 11. Gives us 43 degrees. So those were all of the guided problems. You can go back, watch the video again, pause it where you need. And after you've copied all the notes, you can move on to your homework, which is to complete the worksheet titled Kite Practice Number 2. And this has four additional problems, just like the ones we did in this video.